So as more Canadians roll up their sleeves to get their shots, some still have questions about vaccines. So let's get right to them with infectious disease specialist, Dr. Alex Wong, who is in Regina. And Dr. Wong, let's start with the side effects of getting vaccinated. Uh, we got this question. Are there more general side effects with the AstraZeneca vaccine than Pfizer or Moderna? Thanks, Ian. So uh, great question. In, in short, uh, there's no evidence per se to support that AstraZeneca has any additional or more side effects or more severe side effects than either of the mRNA vaccines. The most common side effects include fatigue, headache, fevers, aches and pains. Uh, those usually go away in a couple of days. Uh, so if you get those types of side effects, uh, taking a bit of Tylenol and ibuprofen to help will make it uh, go away a bit quicker. Some people, Dr. Wong, are wondering about mixing vaccines. Here's a question we got on video. I was vaccinated with my first dose of the Moderna vaccine on April 10th. I'm going to be 50 this year. My question is, would it be advisable for me to be vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine as my second dose? Dr. Wong, uh, what do you know about that? So there's not a lot of true sort of clinical trial evidence right now to support sort of uh, mixing and matching uh, vaccines routinely. Uh, I think a lot of what's going to happen is probably going to end up being dictated to some degree by supply and demand of what's available. Uh, that being said, the current guidance is still, if at all possible, to try and have a second dose of vaccine, which is identical to the first dose that you received. Dr. Wong, on Friday on The National, Bonnie Allen told us the heartbreaking story of Warren Montgomery, a well-known entrepreneur in Regina who recently died from COVID complications. I want to play an excerpt from that. This is his wife talking about fatigue over COVID restrictions. I was sick of everything. Open it up. I, I was done. I wanted my family back. I wanted my get-togethers back. I wanted my friends back like everybody. And I, I was vocal about it. I couldn't have been more wrong. Dr. Wong, you're on call today. What should we know about what's going on in your community? You know, everybody in the community is tired. At the same time, our ICUs are overflowing, packed to the brim. People are being double bunked into rooms. Uh, procedures are being canceled. So it really is a crisis. And, uh, you know, I feel at times like in this province, we've at times reduced the pandemic to dashboard statistics. And it's really about people, people like Warren Montgomery, who died tragically. Uh, people like, uh, you know, people in our ICU right now, there was a gentleman uh, who was in our ICU and his wife delivered their baby daughter by C-section, for example. I mean, these sorts of stories are happening every day. And so I just want people to remember that this pandemic is not about statistics and numbers. It's about real people and real lives. And we need to do everything possible in terms of the economic and mandated measures necessary in order to bring this curve down in this province as quickly and as aggressively as possible so we can avoid more deaths and more suffering. I know this is a busy time for you, uh, Dr. Wong. Thank you very much for, for making some time for us. Always a pleasure, Ian. Thank you.